Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to week eight of the NFL football prediction. Uh, uh, see us okay there? Don't pay her no mind. That's my daughter. She just wants to see how what daddy does in this man cave. But anyway, right now, this is my man prediction between the Green Bay Packers and the Saints. Honestly, they got the Saints coming in at 2-4 and four right now. And uh, they got the 21st ranked defense is bad. 19 ranked pass rush and the 27 rush defense. That's horrible. They can't stop nobody. This is true. Both this game can go either way because it is the battle of the defense. But like, uh, what, what are they? 5-2 and two Packers. 25 rank passing offense. Uh, I think, I think they got 25. They rank 25 and shit like that. But any, but any, but honestly, I have to just. This game really comes down to basically just uh, the battle of the defense. Both defenses are very, very poor. So it's going to be like who can make that last tackle, who can make the tackle, who can make the interception, that turnover to get this uh game going. Like on, on the same side. You got the. Uh, I think the Saints honestly have more weapons. So honestly, I haven't gave my prediction yet because, like, like I said, I really don't care too much about NFC teams. Uh, NFC teams, you know, I don't really give a shit about Green Bay. They're a good offensive team. I like seeing them put up points. And the Saints, they used to be. They're still a great team, but their defense always, always sucked to me. But anyway, with that being said, uh, I just start off with the Saints. You know, the Saints can't tackle. Uh, not tackle. Their defense is horrible. The secondary is horrible. And they, the last three games, they cannot uh, close out. They've been putting up the points, and, and Detroit was the number one. You know, I picked them to beat Detroit, even though I, I should have my heart of hearts told me to pick Detroit, but I just thought the Saints would be too much. But the Saints can't close out a fourth quarter to save, save their life. They, the last three games, they they lost by like a margin of three to five points because in the fourth quarter, their defense lets them down. But anyway, I think Drew Brees does have more offense. Like, I think he has, look at this little kid. He didn't get serious. I think uh, Drew Brees have more weapons to throw to. He got Graham, got a suspect run game, but like Graham can do some, you got Colston can do some. They got the receivers. Plus, Brees can uh, throw the ball, pick, pick everybody apart. He can uh, throw the ball 20 times a game and pass it uh, and have like about eight receivers catch the ball. And that's good. You have a quarterback that can pick somebody apart and you know what I mean? And spread the love around. Anything's possible. Well, on the flip side of that, you have Aaron Rodgers. Me, I think Aaron Rodgers. Nah, I'm going with the Packers just because Aaron Rodgers this year got some swag. And ever since he came out during that little press conference and told everybody, chill or relax, Green Bay Packers, told them to relax. You no, know, they had came on the three game win streak, the 0 2 start. Now they're 5 and 2. They're going to win their division, you know. And uh, yeah, because the division uh, is up and down, but uh, Detroit has no answer for them for some reason. Detroit, to me, Detroit, guys, is my. I want Detroit to win, their, win that, win this division. But anything can happen, you know. Anyway, with this being said, uh, I go with uh, Green Bay for the simple fact the their defense is a tad bit more scary. Anything can happen with Clay Matthews on there. Uh, I think uh, even though Packers, uh, Rodgers just you know throws the ball to Jordy Nelson, I think he's going to be surprised and maybe he might do something. And then the run game. The run game is slightly better with Lacey. I think Lacey is good enough to eat up ball management. Like, you know, put a put a couple points up and be able to run on the uh, run on the Saints defense a lot. They have no defense. They can't tackle. They're they're like in the top 20s and worth rushing uh, defense. So I think uh, Lacey should come out there and have a field day on uh, the Saints to probably break for 100. This, and then on top of that, he should do enough to eat up the clock by the end of this game. I really think uh, this score of the game is a little bit too much high. I would put it on for 34-17. Honestly, I think uh, it's not too far off. I still think it's going to be probably something like 34 27. I don't see the Saints not putting up 20 plus points, but they got a high power, high powered offense. And plus, both defense, both teams are pretty weak. But like I said, with the point toss, I just have to give the hands down to uh, to the Packers. They, they're coming in on a win streak. They're coming in uh, fired off, fired up. You know, trying to prove that you know Aaron Rodgers is a bad man. I think you no know, swag test is for he's. He has more swag in his threes, and I think he's going to come out there with more attitude, more fire, today. and kick a lot more ass. Anyway, the little game, Larry. This game is over right here. I'm just going to finish with some sack and get in the whole world. But anyway, with that being said, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and some more Madden predictions coming in the future. Thank you.